look at that. There's wee Mambo. No, it's... No, that's Big Mambo. Where's wee Mambo, well? Big Mambo's sitting in wee Mambo, look. <laughs> Aye. Hey, look. Sook Ferrier, the mouth breather. Sook Ferrier. Man, could that guy sook hubba bubbas and bazooka joes. That boy could get a bubble out of anything. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, baby. Some, something amusing you. What's the joke here? No, oh, I'm just smiling wryly to myself. It's a barman's thing. You wouldn't understand. Oh, well, this is a drunken old bastard's 30 year old thing. You wouldn't understand that either. Yet. Anyway, these three postmodernists are standing at the bar right hey, now. Uh... Who's this again? Oh, that's, that's, uh, that's Tonga Manta. Tonga? He, he was the best athlete in the school. I wonder what ever happened to him. Zid. Alcoholic poison. <laughs> he could have made it right to the top if it hadn't been for his drink dependency. Aye, uh, nobody needs to take a four pack when they run the hundred yards. Quite right. <laughs> Two's plenty. What's going on here? What's going on? Come on, come on! Spit it up! Spit it up and we will feed it to the dunk. Just exactly what is the joke here? Aye, we don't come in here to be sneered at and ridiculed. We can get that at home. Well, look at you. Every Easter he's have this daft reunion. You dress up in these stupid hats and guzzle doing the buck fast. And every Easter there's fewer of you than there were the year before. You, you haven't quite cracked a happy landlord routine yet, Norrie, have you? <laughs> Mine host. Clubs barman. All right, all right. Just an observation. Oh, well, here's another thing. Empty glasses. Fill them up. Go for me, Rab. I'm not feeling too well. Your wish is my command. You want a belly like a rubber space opera? That is your affair. Well, there's nothing to my my belly. I've a, a 30 inch waist, it's only the fact that I have a bloated liver that pushes my gut out to 46. Cheers, boys. Cheers, Rab. Uh, you take it with me, by the way. You take it with me. It'll, it'll, take, it'll take more than a duff aortic valve and a heed like a swan better to keep a government man doing. Eh, hey, yeah. Uh, hey, all right, see, all right. Tell me, as I was saying, these uh, three fellas are standing about one says that are here. You shouldn't be telling sexist jokes like that, you know. And the other. In the name of God. He's dead. Seems. <laughs> the bastards might at least have waited on the punchline, you know. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was, it was his round to. <laughs> Sweetheart, are you feeling insecure? Eh? Hey? You always fiddle with that locket when you're feeling insecure. I'm feeling a lot of things sitting here, Jamesy. Insecurity is just one of them. What about shame? Mortification? But Ella, pet! I mean, I, I gave up the class reunion to be here. You're the one that's always saying how we need to share more experiences. Aye. But VD isn't it actually what I had in mind, James. <laughs> Ella, darling, I mean, don't call it VD. That just cheapens it. What we've got is nicer than that. What we've got is called crabs or thrush shots. Shut it. I don't want the whole clinic to know we're rampant with disease. Look at the age of these people. It's pathetic. I know. Such disgusting behaviour amongst the young. <laughs> At least we had the decency to wait till we were old and bitter before we got a dose of Ella. Don't you use the word decency in my company. If you hadn't been sniffing around that being a convict, so we wouldn't be sitting here in the first place. Oh, wait a minute. That is unfair. I got myself a toilet seat. Aye. <laughs> there was that toilet seat. And we in a convoy, but that's not a point. 
I went round there in all innocence to paper a scullery. I three quarts of juleps, two litres of tops. A bunch of tulips and a bottle of pomene. I saw you from the bedroom windy. So there was pomene and yesterday may have been tulips yesterday may have been, but do you have a problem with that? Wait a minute. Are you trying to imply that I went round there with some sort of unsavoury ulterior motive because if so me I see I find that sad. I find that very, very sad. And a pack of condoms. <laughs> she dropped in the kitchen mat as you slinked out the back door. What well, may I say? I am disappointed in you, Earl. But my mate's one mistake. He succumbs once to temptation. Once? Once in once only. Are you sure? Cross my heart and hope to die. Ella, angel, would I lie to you? Next. That's me. You here again? We should get you a season ticket. Should you get me? Where should I go, please, nurse? You can. You do mood airs in here in the junior doctors. Never <laughs> get a winning chest, but eh? Lead on, cleave a face. In there. Many. There's no one in a million of them that's worth the candle, is there? No. But there's still that one in a million. <laughs> Easter is a deeply spiritual time, symbolising rebirth and regeneration. Ah, uh, here we are in the Abbey Gardens. Ah, you see Brother Frank tending his own colourful little patch. Brother Frank is the most zealous of all the monks. Other than to take confession, not a word has passed his lips uh, since he came down from Glasgow nearly 20 years ago. More devotion soon. <laughs> First, let's visit the Abbey wine presses and see how we make the tonic brew that has brought good health and innocent pleasure to countless thousands up and down the country. <laughs> the verdict, Doctor? He'll live, Mrs. Nesbitt. Bastard. <laughs> On the other hand, I can't guarantee he'll be the same man you've always known. Well, at least there's some good news, eh? It was touch and go for a while, believe me. What I can't understand is how come his drinking chums didn't notice he'd stopped breathing when he choked on his own vomit? Well, I think the answer to that's quite simple, Doctor. Because they were choking in their own vomit as well. <laughs> Perhaps this narrow squeak will have given him a nasty shock. With any luck, your husband will never touch another drop, Mrs. Nesbitt. Do you really think so, Doctor? Oh, you take it from me. I've seen them all. Chances are it'll be a very long time before he takes another drink. Let me show you out, Mrs. Nesbitt. Health doctor. They just don't train them the way they used to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cheers. Up your colon with the forceps. Tell me, finish. 
I mean, is that you done with a bedside manner? Because I wouldn't let you keep you away for your second job with a stun gun up at the abattoir, you know what I'm saying? Right, there you go. And don't let me catch you back here again. Aye, all right, I'm gone. Oh, looking at you reminds me. I'll need you buy the wife an Easter egg. Get me! <laughs> Next! Oh. When a buggy like that is, you come in a box wrapped up in silver paper. Oh, James! Jamesy! Ah! Are you? Third bin on the left! <laughs> I knew they were short of beds, but I didn't know they were just to this. Don't be this, give that. I'm doing a runner here, I've seen myself put. Sharp lines, Rob. Do you want to hear you were at death's door? Did you see about lost me on the operating table, Jimmy? He died. No. I fell off it and rolled under a medicine cabinet. What's it for, Jimmy? It was worth it. For my day. Well, not that stuff can kill you. I know. Go on! <laughs> Here, you take that one. I'll get it. You know, the older I get, the more I'm attracted to the church, Mary. I used to come here the odd time with Frank, mind. Frankie? God, I haven't heard you mention his name in years. You know, when we were at school, I used to think that you two were a dead set to get married. Frank was different from the others. He treated women with respect. That's what made me think he must be gay. So I dumped him. I often think that was my biggest mistake in life. Oh, no, Ella. You married Jamesy. Oh. Hi. Oh. <laughs> oh, BT. Any, any chance you'll fall glass from here? Call me a spoil sport. But when you start to lose your stomach lining through drinking hospital paint, stripper, don't you think maybe that's nature's way of seeing Hall lay off a drink? We are laying off it. We're not touching a trap. Exactly, we're, we're just drinking wine. See? So get born. <laughs> Who are you grinning at now? Is this another wee barman's thing? No, it's just that you guys have quite a personal interpretation of the word abstinence, that's all. What are you here, smart ass? Do you, do you, think, do you think we don't know we've got problems, eh? What are you, what are you doing, eh? <laughs> what are you looking at that? It's turned a funny colour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see it. It's, it's pink, Jamesy. That's, that's, that's the way it looks when they scrape more the, the fungus and the dirt off it, you know? <laughs> it's so funny. I could die of this. You can. The alcohol's going to kill you first. Aye, and whose fault is that? Hey, whose fault is that? You're the bastard that sells us it. Oh, don't be like that. I mean, after all, it's like you say, this isn't a real drink and this is wine. Red wine drinking's religious. It is. Aye. See, this gear's brewed by monks, so it's symbolic. In symbolic terms, this isn't a wine. It's actually the blood of Christ. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the blood of Christ, eh? But when they like to see him take a breath like their test, eh, Jim? Religion is a very delicate subject now. Talking that is blast. Blast furnace? That's it. That is blast furnace talk rap. You could go in a bad fire with talk like that. A bad fire? Well, a, a lot of superstitious crap. I mean, look at that. Look at that, man. Look at, look at that. No, you're going too far. That is Moses reading the Ten Commandments. That is Big Chuck Hessen with a duff pen. I feel a show, and... You're no religious, then, Rob. Religious? I will tell you this, boy. Sorry, Rob. Phone. Tell him. What, what's that you've got there? It's a school football team, 40, Rob. The ones with crosses have all croaked it. 
All that's left is you, me, and Ham Shank Frank. Ah, uh, Ham Shank Frank. Ham Shank Frank, fancy the Ella. Nay, nay, buggered off the government because she chopped him for you. You know me, Ramp? I don't like you gloat, but yes, I did tan his ass. <laughs> Listen, Jimsy. Come here. The only thing that is taking a tannin round here is your essential organs, boy. Mm. Jimsy, we're, we're going to have to do something. Aye, and faster than you think. That's Orkney Street, Nick. They're looking for you, pair. Something about a stolen case of formaldehyde. Hush, hush, Ramp. For me, needs a miracle. Well, what are they moving here? Bloody bank holiday traffic. It's a miracle I got up here, it really is. Where do you want your buck fast? It's a sign, Nisbet. Why don't you lie low for a while? Can't you live down south half of him? Just can't eat. Brother Gideon, what's wrong? It's him, Brother Frank. He's so unsociable. That aggressive isolation of his is putting me off my repast. Brother Frank has been with us for some years, Gideon. Indeed, he is one of the most devoted of our brethren. The fact that he chooses to be isolated does not mean that he's being aggressive. You're right, Brother Adam. I apologise for my lapse of faith. Accepted, Brother Gideon. <laughs> Eat your supper. for the monkey, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd say. I don't know, just give him some monk part, you know, eh? King of Kings, Geoffrey Hunter and that. That was dab, Hunter. Just say something, will <laughs> you? <laughs> oh, uh, greetings. <laughs> we are, uh, we are pilgrims. We come from a land far, far away. A land of heather and misty mountains and men with diseases of the willy. Hello, we have done. Hello, James, eh? And tell me, what do you hope to find here? Well, uh, my pal here is actually looking for a miracle, so if you could maybe point us in the direction of the fairy grotto and uh, he can maybe slurp a wee bit of the holy water or touch the hem of a robe or something, you know. I'll just kind of lurk about the gift shop until he is cured. Well, you could always try the obvious remedy. Look at it, eh? Alton Towers for the pious. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm like most people, you know. I could tolerate the church if it wasn't for the church growers. <laughs> for the tweed coats, Honda Civics and sanctimonious expressions. Mind you, I don't suppose the Godfather's exactly cock a hoop about the situation here, you know. Or the sure faced grannies with, with double gussets cluttering up his living room, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, eh, yeah. no offence, Dolly. 
wish the half time can hear me, right? I hope this wine travels well, eh? <laughs> Not that it's got much of a journey, you understand. Just, just from my epic laughters to my belly buttons. <laughs> Religion's fairly cheered him up, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, Father, for I am a bad man. I have sinned. How have you sinned, my son? Well, although I am married, I have always been some man with a bench, you know. However, this has caused my dear wife some distress, especially since many years ago she chucked a bloke that loved her for me. That's a terrible tale, my son. But it's one to which I can relate. Many years ago, before I became a monk, I too was much in love with a woman that left me for another man. I always swore to revenge myself on him. His name was... Jamesy. Jamesy, she says. You had better change your ways. Oh, I adored that woman. I loved her. I put her on a pedestal. Her name was... Ella, says I. You had been better off marrying that numpty. Seeing as how you still wear that stupid locket has around your neck. Tell me, how is Ella? Oh, no too good, actually, since I gave her a dose of the crap. <laughs> She's forgave me for her. Well, it's a drink she doesn't like. She says if I don't chuck it, she'll chuck me. Father, what can I do? Pa. Let's talk about it, Jamesy. <gasps> Frank! Holy ham shank, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Any hard feelings, eh, Jamesy? Oh, no. Forgive him, forget. You know me, Frankie. Good. Let's bury the hatchet then, Jamesy. <laughs> Over a wee drink, eh? Now and go to Innis Free for a small log cabin built there of sticks and wattles made. And I will have some peace there, for peace comes dropping slow. It drops. Oh, you dusty basil! Put your pretty sandals! You just about crucified my bloody nagels there. Simpson, even in an abbey, you can't escape the hooligan element. Could I ask you to move on, please? I'm afraid we don't permit drinking in the Abbey grounds. Don't permit drinking? The grounds are for all of us to enjoy. People like you spoil everything. People like me? What's a new hearing me, lady? If it wasn't for people like me, there wouldn't be any bloody Abbey grounds. I mean, what do you, what do you think is propping this place up? Hey, God's love? No, it is a sea of bloody alcohol. I think you're rather overstating your case. Oh, it's a fact. It's a fact, brother. Now, you listen here to me. I am an alky, right? I drink your hooch. Hey, so does every alky in Scotland. In fact, there is more buckfast sold when I come for boy than Bibles. And it is that dosh that is paying for this gaff here. You should be, you should be selling icons at us in that bloody gift shop of yours, eh? <laughs> for slivers on a cross. Saint Sarosus of the sacred swallow. For ye verily, that is shite like me that is fertilizing your hallowed ground, brother. I'd rather think you'd better leave. Oh, don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'm going, I'm going. Just as soon as I get my pal out of Disney World earlier. <laughs> 
Shite onions a man can swallow. Well, either the angels has taken him, or he is back on the swallow. Call me a cynic, but I know what one had to choose. Whoa, a sign. Worry yourself, Bill. I'm sure James will turn up. Don't say that, Mary. I'm just starting to get excited. <laughs> <laughs> That's the galling thing about a marriage license. There's no loss or theft clause. At least if a motor's a right off, you get a chance to change it. Mm. You've got a nice egg gash after him, eh? He could take Jamesy for a joyride in that bike of his. Ah, uh, you'll not be having much joyride in court these days, eh? Oh, eh? Oh, shut <laughs> it, you! <laughs> Hello? Rab? Where are you? Buckfast? Where the hell's that? Let me speak to him, Mary. Hello, Rab? Is James there? Oh, I, 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 he's, uh, he's here, Ellie, he's here. Uh, but before I put him on, I, I think there's something you should know. I'm not coming out. Shut it, you. <laughs> uh, You'll never guess what's happened, Ella. Eh, Jimsy met an old flame of yours in here, a fella called Dave Frank. Well, one thing led to another, and, and the upshot is... I'll Jim... tell her. <laughs> Ella, I'm a monk. <laughs> he made me say monk for him. But he says a fat chuck the monk in. He's got a back curse on me. <laughs> Ella! Ella, what can I do? <laughs> you, you've, got, you've got to hand it to my Sam, haven't you? I mean, you have. You know, I mean, some fellas get drunk and end up with a tattoo or something. <laughs> not Potter, not Jimsy Boy. <laughs> Come on! Yeah.